welcome back to Perfect Fit. Joining me is sports nutritionist Suzanne Carreri and fitness expert Farhan Dalla. Welcome to the show. We're going to take our first caller. It's Mark from Toronto who's on the line. Hi, Mark. How can we help you? Hi. Um, I have two questions. Um, they're both short. The first one is some uh, fitness experts say that uh, to lose weight, uh, you should also do weight lifting and it, some I keep hearing things that having more muscle on your body burns more calories or something and I don't understand that because I thought that maybe just cardio should make you lose weight. And my other question is um, where are there real aerobics classes in Toronto? Does that still exist? <laughs> like not the, the newer kind like the punching and kicking. What about the traditional old style aerobics? Is it still around? I can't find it anywhere. Well, we'll address your first question on increasing your muscle mass to lose body fat. And the theory behind that is the more muscle you have, the more fat you the burn. The more fat you're going to burn, that's And right. why don't we talk about why that is? The reason is, is that it's the metabolically active tissue that burns calories. So that tissue is muscle. And so the more metabolically active tissue you have, the greater the percentage of fat gets burned off and so the Simply, combination what does that mean just that describe means it more to me. muscle means less fat because the muscle requires more calories for energy it's what's going to burn the calories in your body okay his, his question about the cardio you do burn more calories in that moment but it's the increased muscle mass that will continue burning more calories even while you're sleeping at night mm. so that's the big difference the there. bottom line is you got to do both for an effective fat loss burning program you should do resistance mm -hmm. training as well as cardio training and what sort of weightlifting would you recommend that Mark do to build the muscle mass and decrease his fat? According to the American College of Sports Medicine, minimum twice a week, working each muscle to failure within 8 to 12 repetitions, that standard guideline. And how many sets would he um, do? About one to two, two, two to three sets, sorry. And nutrition, what do you recommend to lose body fat and help you increase muscle mass? Two things, I think one is when you do combine working out with weights and cardio, you do the cardio after the weight training. Um, you want to make sure before you start doing the weight training that you've filled your muscles with all the glycogen they have so you can push yourself as hard as possible. Before you do any cardio, you don't want to have eaten anything because then you're going to be burning the sugar from the food you ate instead of turning to your own body fat for mm -hmm. energy. Okay, perfect. Now the second question, the second question. aerobics <laughs> classes. Mark, I work out at Diesel Fitness and I know they have tons of different classes. They have kickboxing, they have mm -hmm. cardio workouts, and I know We're you're after the traditional yeah. aerobics classes. Mm -hmm. They still exist minus the leotards, yes. <laughs> minus the leotards. I would say, what would be the best way for him to find out where they exist? Um, call a couple of local gyms and find out what programming they have. Sometimes you can even go online and gyms will have their aerobic schedules there for you to view. So the YMCA, the, the Sports YMCA, Club of Canada, Diesel Fitness, yeah. um, um, I'm just trying to think of a few more that we could give You'll them, totem. The, yeah, the gyms that have been around for long, long periods of time, for years and years, they're the ones that still have them. Yeah, Mark, yeah. have you tried some of the bigger clubs like the YMCA or the Sports Club of Canada? the commercial style classes and the Y does have some but um, they're just not as challenging as the old traditional ones. Well if you send us an email at perfectfit at pulse24.com I will look into it for you. How about you do that? Okay and I took down the rest of your answers uh, to the questions so thanks for your help today. Thanks for calling. Mark, you can always email me as well. Okay. As well. And Bye -bye. we're going to take another call. Carrie from Toronto is on the line. Hi Carrie you're live on Perfect Fit. Hi. Hi how can we help you? Um, yeah, I just have a quick question about, um, three years ago I suffered from an eating disorder. I gained the weight in the program, but it was more for feeding. And now I came out of it, and about two years after a year I lost the weight. Now I'm struggling to gain weight. I, I'm a, I have a trainer at my gym, and he has me on a lot of protein bars and protein coolers, and I'm doing limited cardio, and I'm doing really, lifting really, really heavy weights, like five sets of five just three exercises and I just want to know any other recommendations to to gain weight help in a healthy way by not like gorging yourself on junk food and well how tall are you and how much do you weigh right now and your age please I'm 29 okay I'm about five eight and I weigh about 102 pounds what her question is what is the healthiest way to put on weight why don't we well, start with nutrition sure i think that this is a, a real challenge for many women eating disorders is very prominent in the female population um, and most women do have some sort of disordered 
eating at some point in their lives, even if it doesn't become a full-blown eating disorder. I think the most important thing is to, you know, fuel your body with smaller amounts throughout the entire day to graze. Because if you let yourself go too long in between eating, your blood sugars will drop, the intense hunger kicks in, and that's when you tend to binge. And then you feel guilt and, you know, continue the cycle. So I think a really important thing to do would be to graze and continue snacking. Okay. Combining protein with carbohydrate is a great way to keep yourself feeling full longer. Now, she was saying she was taking protein bars and supplements. What do you think of that? Is that the best way to go or is natural better? I always try and, you know, meet as many of your needs through food first. Okay. Around a workout, though, protein powders can be very helpful. Whey protein, which is the most type, popular type of protein in a powder, can get to your muscles a lot faster than, say, a piece of chicken could. Okay. So after a workout, protein shake is great, but otherwise, you know, having normal sources of protein are very useful as well. Great. Thanks, Suzanne. Yeah. Farhan, in the gym or yeah, at home? My workouts? advice also is, is in conjunction with what Suzanne's saying is what you eat and what you do in the gym has to coincide together and so the plan of what happens outside and what happens inside has to be the same. So it's very important that you actually work with the nutritionist, both you and your personal trainer, to ensure that you're consuming the right amount of calories and that the activity that you're doing is suitable for your goal. Resistance training and strength training is important, but you may want an adjunct that so you don't burn out by just doing resistance training with other forms of training, perhaps at a lower intensity. Now, what would be a healthy weight gain on a, a weekly basis? Would it be a pound a week or two pounds a week? I would say it would be um, but somewhere in the range of one to two pounds over a period of two to four weeks. Okay. That's like a so more healthy slow, game. A slow, 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 slow and steady mass. wins the race. Well, you want your joints to adjust to the changes that are coming to your body um, so that they're not bombarded with uh, stresses they're not accustomed to. And it's the same okay. thing with muscles and fat. You can't lose fat quickly, you can't build muscle quickly. If you're losing weight,